이제 해외 사례로 조금 넓혀가 보려고 하는데요. 이제 에베네자 토론자와 함께 이야기를 해보기 전에 수신기를 착용 안 하신 분들께서는 착용, 저도 저부터 해야 될것 같아서. 1번 채널 맞나요? 네, 하겠습니다. 에베네자 토론자 혹시 지금 잘 들리시나요? Yes, 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 I can hear you loud and clear. 네. 지금 폴리시 쉐이퍼스의 회장을 맡고 계신 걸로 알고 있는데 그 기업에 대해서 간단한 소개를 먼저 부탁드려도 될까요? Yes, sure, sure. Um, hi, everyone. Um, greetings from Port Harcourt, Nigeria. It's currently about 7.34 a.m. You know, in the morning here in Nigeria, and I'm excited to join this important conversation. Uh, my name is Ebenezer Wikina. I'm the founder of Policy Shapers. Policy Shapers is a civic you know, startup or civic organization based in Nigeria that empowers young people with the knowledge, skills, and tools, and this could include digital tools, they need to engage with public policy. Over the past three years, um, we have mobilized more than 80,000 young people from across Africa to engage on several policy initiatives, And you know, I'll be looking forward to sharing some of the lessons that we have learned so far from our work. Um, if 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 you want me to go ahead, or I, I don't know if you have another another question to ask. Oh, 네, 지금까지 잘, 오케이. 네. 아, 어, 아프리카 대륙에서는 물론 이제 전 세계적으로 바로 봐도 이런 청년들의 참여를 이끌어내는 사례가 좀 유례적이라고 생각이 드는데요. 어, 지금까지 한국의 청년들이 참여할 수 있는 거버넌스 사례를 잘 설명을 들으셨을 텐데 이런 정책 참여 전문가로서 네. 한국 열린 정부, 한국 청년들에게 조금 방향성을 조금 제안해 주실 수 있을까요? 예스. Yes. Thank you. Um, so I can I can share a couple of examples um, for, for, from the ideas that, that we've worked on. Um, the, the first is true policy hackathons. Um, just like you have technology hackathons where you get startups to come hack ideas, policy hackathons provide an opportunity for youth to engage in idea creation and problem solving. Um, my, my team at Policy Shapers, we've participated in several policy hackathons at Harvard University, MIT, and Stanford, um, especially at Stanford, where we emerged third at the Stanford University Open Datathon. We also organized last year uh, our maiden policy hackathon event in Nigeria, um, which was, I mean, the goal of that event was to crowdsource policy ideas. From up to 200 young people, you know, and see how they can respond to urgent development issues in Nigeria. And these issues include youth unemployment, poor, poor quality education, um, insecurity, to mention a few. I think that OGP Korea and most of the partners who are, who are listening um, today, present today, can consider organizing policy hackathons. On several thematic issues across the various provinces in Korea to inspire youths to think as policymakers. After you know these ideas are being scrutinized and judged by the experts, the best ideas you know should be recommended for for implementation. You know the, the previous speakers from civil society and the various uh, youths. Uh, 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 advisory groups sort of like spoke about how young people are, are, being, are being thought policy making. And I think over time, when we celebrate and you know, keep up this practice of celebrating ideas, we would inspire young people to begin to think as problem solvers, much more than just idle citizens, right? So, so I think that's one of the first ideas that we work on. The second is through grassroots research um, in the formulation of Nigeria's third national action plan, that's our OGP plan. Young people from the OGP Nigeria Youth Network were engaged as researchers to conduct um, you know, focus group discussions, research and, 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 and engagements in their respective neighborhoods across the country. So we engaged over 150 young researchers um, and this was funded by Accountability Lab, an organization as well as civic organization uh, that's working to engage young people in governance and OGP issues. And it gave an opportunity for young people's voices and opinions to be incorporated in 
the finalization of our national action plan based on the thematic issues that the young people cared about. So issues, again, like I said, unemployment and education, those are the issues that youths often care about more in Nigeria. Now, involving you know, young people in this, in this process has helped to create a sense of ownership. Um, so young people feel like they are part of the process and the National Action Plan document feels like it's part of them. So they, they feel like they are involved in the creation of that process. I think OGP Korea and the, and the government and private sector can consider involving youth and youth-led organizations in the process of research and fact finding, you know, to ensure that youth representation in policy making is, is fully carried along. I think I, I'd like to congratulate the, the government ministries in Korea, I heard about the various action groups, you know, for establishing these advisory groups. And, you know, I'd like to urge you to, to listen to recommendations from these groups during policy implementation, because even though it looks good to have youth, youth advisory groups, I've, I've served on uh, quite a number of youth, youth boards across Africa and the, and, and the UK. And, you know, I've, I've found that sometimes youth ideas are not carried on to the final decision making process. So beyond just the beauty of having a youth group, it's important to ensure that um, the ideas from youth are carried on. Um, policy dialogue is also another great way to ensure that there's huge representation in the policy making process. I think this, this panel is a great example, having a youth led panel and ensuring that young people's voices are carried on. Um, and also ensuring that there's huge representation in the policy making process. We can create a quota system, for example, for all government events and ensure that all government events at the, at the panels, you know, there's a good blend of youths and women, women speakers. As, as, as panelists at your, at your events. So these are some of the ways in, in Nigeria that I think we've been able to, um, through policy shapers and some of the work we're doing through the OGP Nigeria Youth Network, you know, to engage young people, um, you know, in the policy making process. Um, and I'm of course looking forward to hearing a, a bit more from the audience as well on some of the ideas that you have in Korea. And you know, my, my wife who is a big K-drama fan <laughs> asked me to say this at the end of my speech. Can Sam me that? Thank you for thank you for for listening, and I hope that um, these these ideas wouldn't just be spoken here, but we'll go on to implement them in our various government ministries. Thank you for the opportunity. <웃음> 네, 박수가 안 나올 수 없는 마지막 멘트였던 것 같은데요. 어 이제 에베네자 토론자님께서 굉장히 많은 말씀을 해주셨는데 그 중에서.